Okay, I put some epoxy in my um, routed lines and I pulled uh, the bolts. I had bolts in the holes to keep the epoxy from flowing in there. Uh, they're basically ruined, but that's that's probably one of the prices you'll have to pay if you do it this way. And it's been an hour and um, so I'm, I'm trying to pull this before this epoxy gets really hard on the on the uh, tape. I don't want it to be brittle. And the other thing is uh, this epoxy takes about six hours to be fully cured but right now it's pretty sticky and kind of uh, I don't know how I would term it just kind of about like a cookie dough consistency maybe I can see spots where uh, you can see up here where it's kind of bled uh, underneath the tape a little bit I think that uh, that'll sand clean I'm at least I'm hoping it will okay I uh, got the tape off and got my hands cleaned up it almost took me as long to clean my hand up as it did to take the tape off should have had gloves on both hands but anyway this thing uh, cost me um, eight bolts a utility blade and and a plastic lid cover but uh, Hopefully I can get that sanded off. I, I've got to just let it sit now and and hope for the best. Okay, four hour update. Um, took and ran my chisel around and scraped up all the high spots. Um, I've got a couple of low spots. You can kind of see they're still shiny, but hopefully when I sand, uh, that'll kind of even out. Okay, this is after about 45 minutes of sanding, uh, literally from 80 to 100, 120, 150, 180, 220. And I still could not get rid of all this, or not say all of it, but some of the bleed through from the uh, epoxy getting underneath the tape and into the grain of the plywood. Um, all in all, it you know it's it's not going to affect the way the game plays, but you know you'd you'd really like that to be a nice crisp line like some of these right here, where it's nice and clean. But it's definitely smooth, <laughs> so I think I was almost getting to the point where I might be going through the veneer. I'm glad this was Baltic birch and not. Uh, your standard, you know, uh, oak plywood or cherry plywood, you know, something like that. I think I would have been through that veneer in a heartbeat, uh, trying to get trying to get to the point where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, just, you know, use it as is. The other thing that I've got is a couple of low spots of epoxy, um, where let me see. Here's one here. It's hard to see, but you, right there I got a little, little divot, but that's not going to affect the game play at all either. There was another one somewhere else. Oh, right in here. Yep. Right there. Other than that, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, from what I can kind of see online I guess is that I've seen these with the uh, base board um, probably a half inch thick as well same as this Baltic birch um, I really don't want to cut a 30 inch diameter piece out of Baltic birch um, I want to save that so I'm going to use this three-quarter inch signboard I have and 
I think, yeah, well, what I'm trying to get, get at is I'll, I'll cut my, my circle here. And originally I had designed this that I would have uh, four pins uh, that I would locate in, the, in these four quadrants uh, to hold it in place when I glue it up. But I forgot to, to uh, basically uh, cut those out when I was doing this pattern. But uh, in retrospect, I can use these uh, holes here that, for the bolts. And what I'll do is, as the bolt is coming through, let me see if I can find one here. As the bolt comes through, I'll have a uh, quarter inch hole on this side that I can use as a pin. And then that'll also give me some relief. Uh, rather than having to shorten the bolts, I can just uh, keep spinning them down into this. And uh, not have to, not have to uh, grind these off. So now you can see what I've got going here. These, these bolts line up perfectly with those holes underneath, so I'm glad I got that done. All right, the first piece is ready to go on. I've got my, my base clamped down to my table to keep it stationary and flat. And then I'll put this on and, and make sure that it's down tight all the way around. And I've got just a tiny little gap here, but I'm, I'm going to put a clamp on the other side here, a uh, Bessie clamp, and pull that flat like that. And then I just have to let it sit. Uh, and then I can come back and put the other piece on over the top.